Hello guys, welcome back to the Paper Whisper. Today I'll be showing you my kill range cards as you guys voted on because why not? And I hit 60 subscribers, so thank you so much. 50 subscribers is a big milestone. I never thought my channel would get this far, even in two years. Sorry I didn't make the live stream for two years. I had a lot going on, like I said last time, so let's get right into it. Our buff our origami kill arena will look like this one is done with a uh, gun slash dagger and some build ballerina as well. It's pretty simple. Concept if you already know how to make the ballerina. It's kind of like a 2.0. There's only one problem. It's complex, kind of a complex model if you don't know how to make some decent bad box weight models. So, just a warning. Oh, and also, if you want to buy this paper, which is very pretty, it's not hard to see through the camera, but it's blues, greens. Check it out and link in the description or check out my post where you can buy the paper. And this is what I made out of another sheet. So, let's get right into it. So, I'm going to start by folding in half. And unfold. Then, pull the edge to the middle. And fold the edge to the middle again. Again. And once more. Then you can rotate 90 degrees to every direction you like. Just remember which direction you rotated. And pull it in half again. Make your roots unfold completely, rotate 90 degrees, and do it again. This can be unfolded in half, half because you already did it. There are only two halves in a square, at least rectangularly. I think it's similar, like actually after this. You can see the paper better in a sec. Maybe you'll be able to see it better now that the colors of the paper. It's a bit better, I guess. It'll be fine. On the hold completely. And repeat one last time. And unfold completely. Now what you're gonna do is unfold the first edge, so the first piece from the edge up like this and mountain fold. And do the one one of the next to it as well. I was using the edge of my table to help me make the creases. Why? I think it works. Well, I don't know why it works. 
just kidding. Anyways, so what we're going to do is we're going to fold this here. And we we'll fold. You see, I'm kind of do a kind of a quarter of a pleat. So I'm kind of like this. Doesn't have to go all the way. The pleats don't have to go all the way. And you should have four time, four mountain folds when you're done. And when you're done, it'll look like this. I have another piece on the other side. So, and the four mountain folds are also nice to take off each place. Pause the slam and then you can even do a bit slower. find the middle and fold the two, two creases next to it, so one on each side, up towards the top and stop when you get to the first crease that it hits. That's an outline fold, obviously. And pinch it like that. So I'm repeat on the other one. If you can't see it, I'll show it later. So we have this. You fold it together. You fold this back. And push this here, and then push this here, like that. That will be part of the head, or whatever. Really so now all you have to do is make a half pleat sink that goes kind of like that so goes so kind of like this. That's what we're gonna do next. It doesn't matter how you do it, as long as it's like right in the end. I think for me, you can the, the mountain valley folds first and then finishing the pleat piece. But whatever works for you, it works for me. Now we're going to repeat on the other side.
here. Then it should look like this. Now we're going to make the dress the best part dressing. What we're going to do is we're going to open it just slightly. We're going to make a mountain fold with whatever you can dress you go. It doesn't matter. And then what we're going to do, just a little, some of them that haven't done much before. We're going to kind of make like a crease. It's hard to describe, so I'll have to get back the wall. So we're going to do this and kind of align it up here. It's hard to describe, honestly. I'll try my best. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to bring two mountain bolts to the other and pinch them to see make this diamond and fold this here. Actually, again, yeah, that's better. We are more better in the camera. We make the two mountain bolts together. Find two mountain bolts next. Make this kind of shape. Push. Shape it. Make the diamond. You're going to do that all the way across. And then I'll pull in. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay. Let me show you one last time before I keep going on my own. Make two mouthfuls come up. Then do this. And pull it together. And the last thing you gotta do is do it all the way across. Sorry, I'm so just even within two years, I'm still trying to figure out my camera angle. Over two years now, which is pretty crazy for the channel, like mine. I don't know, sorry. One of the trigger parts, and it's well worth it at the end, though. This is what makes the dress, like I said.
now we're getting closer to the final model. All we have to do is add some allergies. I guess that's what you can call it. Out. We'll make it come out, basically. All you have to do is run on um, actually, I think it's good. We're going to do on this side, actually. What we're going to do to make the legs by doing another half piece from as far as it can go. If you run out of space, nobody does it with me. But she says more like this. And remember, you know, you I know I haven't seen many of these lately, but you're always allowed to try to have quest tutorials with me. I can design a model for you and make it how and make you make it however you want it. Okay, so now we're done with the dress. She's gonna look like this. I'm gonna keep it, we're gonna, I might want to clamp this here, so I'm gonna push it, here's the shape in. So now the first thing we're gonna do with the ballerina is flatten it and push this down because so it looks like a tree and we're gonna twist it around. It looks like this right now. Well, now we're gonna shape the legs, it's gonna look quite simple actually. I'm gonna kind of pinch it. The same method, except you don't go all the way up. I'll show you why in a second. You have made the daggers. So I'm going to this right now. So I'm going to it over. And then all we have to do besides the hood is make the daggers. So the daggers are actually simple than anything, I think. You're going to put your hat, sorry, you're going to put your fingers. In here, in this pocket, push, and that should make your dagger. So you close that, you can shape it however you like the dagger. And repeat on the other side. Now, here's the most fun part before he brings it together, the hood. This looks simply like this. And there's our rogue ballerina. Hope you had an amazing, hope you had a good tutorial. See you next time. Have an amazing day. Bye.